Hey, hello, I am Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Rise or Fall for some Beasties Boomers for Thursday, August 4th. When we look at today's overall baseball schedule, 12 games all day. That one locks at about 12.35 p.m. Eastern Time, but per usual, main slate is what I'm after, and that one is at 7.05, and it's only eight games here. Before we get into all the bells and the whistles, which I do, stacks, projections, rankings, study hub, everything, go to the website team riser fall and when you get there use promo code beastie in the subscribe now portion if you use that promo code you'll get ten dollars off your first month of premium services and this is the time when you want to join when everything's getting rolling uh not only for the dog days of summer with baseball but as we start putting out some nfl content here because it is august here so use the promo code beastie come in you can play along with me play along with any other of your favorite coaches who do cores projections private discord shows everything from start to finish this is the dfs website to be a part of and i don't even think it's close i know people hate to say that or people hate when people say that on social media team riser fall comma it's not even close let's talk about baseball let's bring in all the tools be right back Hello, and here we are. We are back. That wasn't a long break, was it? Actually, the, the edit makes it seem like it's uh, two seconds, when in reality, you don't want to break the, what is it, the fourth wall and seem like, I, I don't know, who cares? This is the video. Here we go. Something, something, driver's seat. As I said yesterday, here's the Discord channel right there. All you got to do is click the sucker, takes you right there, which is free, as is this video. But per usual, there are some premium options uh, in the Discord, which you can all, all can be yours, like the price is right in this one when we look at today's schedule as i said only eight games on the main slate a lot to like boston's playing the white Sox, st louis toronto even a little bit of atlanta and let's not forget the detroit tigers at home against tampa bay tonight but i want to focus in on the washington nationals going to philadelphia at citrus citrus citizens citizens bank park excuse me at 705 p.m so let's isolate that one and when we go man when we look at this one it's a tough pill to swallow if you're a Washington fan, right? We we really honed in on San Diego last night for the positive purposes. And tonight we're going to stack against Nationals because, ah, geez, what, what do they got left going on that can, that can produce anything or defensively that can get anything done? So we're going to stack the heck out of Philadelphia. And when you look at this so far, Philadelphia comes into this one 56 and, uh, and and 48 coming off a sweep on the road of Pittsburgh. You like to see that. Noah Syndergaard, the new Philadelphia Phillies pitcher, uh, he looks to be pitching tonight. That would be great, right? Fingers crossed. You could see it here. Noah Syndergaard, right-handed pitcher. Thor, not the same since he left the Mets. That's neither here nor uh, nor there here. When you look at Paulo Espinino, we'll take the mound for Washington. He's got zero wins on the season to go along with three losses with an earned run average of 3.78 only 50 Ks in 66 and two-thirds innings pitched as, I don't know, people are calling him Bino, as Bino has given up 70 hits, 13 walks, and 13 home runs. Not good. And I got some sweet betting trends for you in this one and kind of a, you know, tie it up in a bow, but we'll wait to the end of the video. As we get started here, uh, look no further than number one, and that's Kyle Schwarber. This guy's going to be popping up in, in optimizers all day, and you can see why. You love to see this green AA. I mean, look at the just the hum in the block of green A's here from four of the the, the top uh, Philadelphia Phillies batters, Kyle Schwarbs, Ramilto, Hoskins, Alex Baum. The question to me is, and I, I, it'll play itself out, not right now at this moment in time, 9, 10, 11 in the morning, whenever you're watching this, where are they going to put Nick Castellanos in this lineup? Where are they going to move Derek Hall in this lineup? Because when you go down here, uh, Stott even is uh, seventh, and when you look at Baum, they got him at three. I have Baum at three as well. I know I'm not the guy who makes the lineup uh, for Philadelphia, but let's keep this thing cruising. Let's go over to the projections here for Schwarber. And last night, you know, you get these gut feelings and you're like, it's too good to be true. It's like Christmas, Brandon Drury's going to hit a bomb and come to find out Drury hits a grand slam. I'm having those same vibes with, with Kyle Schwarber today uh, on, on FanDuel or DraftKings. Look at that, only 11.40% owned, AA across the board, 14.37 ownership percentage. And dare I say... I'll, I say it every time almost, 14.37 seems a little low. 
if this guy hits a home run, at least on FanDuel, boom, I clap my hands if you could hear that. He goes right up to like 18.7, I think, is the scoring there. And let's look up uh, Schwarbs on uh, on DraftKings and see what we get. There it is, 10.76. It's always wild to me. FanDuel has cheaper prices, right, and higher scoring, where DraftKings has higher price tags and lower scoring. Has anybody ever dug into that or, or said that out loud in their life? I don't know, but let's move down the list here. I don't want to keep us all day with me talking nonsense here. I'm excited on a Thursday per usual. And it's going to be Reese Hoskins. Here we go. We'll find him. There he is. Reese Hoskins looks to be two in the lineup. What I love about looking at the study hub here, and I do a pretty, just pretty elementary job here when I'm talking to everybody here, because it'd be we'd be here for hours on end if I dug through everything. And I try to do a good job, you know, throughout the day with some tweets and some replies, things along those lines here. But when you look at Reese Hoskins, his uh, rating, his DK rating is low. It's like 3.720, but his value tier and projection tier are an A and his ownership is green. So there's a mismatch there where I think it might throw people off, you know, throw people off. Uh, Hoskins here just a tad, not enough to, uh, to to warrant me not using him or you to use him. And when you look at Reese Hoskins here, as I said yesterday, I don't know if it's a, a, another mind F, but the rating is the same, both on, on the study, on the fan duel batter matchup and the DK batter matchup. And Reese Hoskins even better uh, on fan duel, 4.8%. His projection looks to be around uh, 11.38. We can round up. I know it's got it. The decimal's got to start with a five to round up, and it's only a three, so we'd have to round down to 11. But my video, you're watching this. We want optimism. I'm gonna round that sucker up to 12, even here. When we go down the list, not this is not when it gets sticky. Let's say, but Alex Baum, this kid. Uh, looks to be uh, picking up the pace a little bit. And let's check in on uh, on Bomb here. And what's what's crazy about him is you, you go through ebbs and flows as a DFS player. You go through ebbs and flows as a sports card collector or whatever. And I'm on a real Alex Bomb card collecting kick right now. So it only makes sense. I'm going to mention him today in the video for you. Everything you, you, you need to see here. AA, I, I don't want to be a used car salesman or sell you snake oil here. Alex Bomb in the three hole today against Pino, as they're calling him just makes too much sense right when you look at ownership percentage four point or excuse me 5.3 i don't mind when we check in on the, the dk batter matchup against pino there he is again 6.3 percent ownership rating is you know sky high only second to uh, alex bomb so that combo uh, or, or excuse me alex bomb is the clubhouse leader in rating right now in the riser fall study hub for the philadelphia philly so now there's a few different ways we can go, right? It's JT Remilto, Nick Castellanos, Derek Hall, any one of those three. I'm going to hone in, if you if you don't mind, just for a little bit of love for uh, JT Remilto, just because he's right here. I was going to go with Castellanos just because the old ties here uh, to Detroit, but uh, let, let, let's just go Remilto, right? And it's... Uh, it, on DK, at least, it's a premium position. You hear people say that all the time, especially in fantasy football stuff. It's a premium position. Tight end's a premium. Well, you know, catcher and even shortstop is a premium position, and FanDuel has completely taken that off the table, right? Because it's first base slash catcher, right? And so they figured out a way to just say, you know what? Screw you guys that are trying to be premium, uh, you know, hunt for premium position players. So let's look at Remilto on DK where there is and one and only active catcher spot, and that's Remilto right here, looking to be batting fourth. 72.36 rating, outstanding ownership, anything under 10% when you're batting fourth today against Pino, unbelievably great, A and an A across the board, and it is beautiful. I just want to talk about Castellanos and Derek Hall briefly. It won't be a whole, you know, not going to dig so deep here, but when you look at Derek Hall, Looks to be six in the line. We got red for the rating, 26.19, but his ownership percentage is 2.6. And we've seen Derek Hall uh, just come out, of, really, realistically come out of nowhere. He's got 14 runs, 12 RBIs, five bombs. And, and it's one of those things where even if he's not, ag I'm not saying, uh, let, I, I'm getting ahead of myself. I was going to say is even if he's not active, uh, he can still pinch hit a home run. But if he's not active, there's no way uh, you're going to have the stones to put him in your starting line up right especially at 2-9 on FanDuel at least but let's make sure all these batting orders and lineups are confirmed per usual I mean that's just a smart move to make here and let's look at uh, Castellanos here on the the projections and then I want to go through the the stacks tool briefly because there was something that stood out to me there 
And there's Nick Castellanos. Right now, it looks to be uh, in the five spot. Let's bring it back here. Sorry if I'm jumping around like that and making you dizzy. Yeah, so fifth spot, uh, that is that is great here with, with Nick. And you look, B, projection tier is a B. Value tier is an A. Ownership percentage, 6.3%. Everything is all well and good. Let's bring in the, the, the DK stack. So I need to start doing a better job of showing love to all you DraftKings players because I'm a fan dual player. We know that. And in, and in turn, it's like, People say, well, Chris, you don't care about DK. Not true. I care about each and every one of you. And when you look, what's the first thing that stands out? Stop me. Stop me when you hit it. So it'll be, again, like the price is right, that yodeling game. Yodel, lady, yodel. Philly, boom, there it is. 5.62 runs of projection today when realistically – I have Philly to score like seven or eight today. And when you look at their, their combined DK salary, very low. Look at that. Three three thousand five hundred bucks. I mean, Washington is 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 bright green, but there is yeah, you don't want anything to do with it. Well, Milwaukee, their total like combined salary when you add it up and you do the math, you know, seven, eight, something along those lines here. But when you look at Philadelphia, their value is beautiful. Their ISO is beautiful. Their, you know, their range of outcomes, which I haven't talked about in probably a month, and I apologize for that because I love to get just so in on the study hub and just you know over under stuff and just little little mini storylines, I should say here. But the range of outcomes, a green across the board, twenty five percent of what is expected of them tonight uh, looks to come true. Fifty percent of it is even at almost seven percent, which is saying something when you look down this thing the next closest one here is 6.4 percent in terms of range of outcomes and who would that be from the boston yeah boston it's all good boston's playing kansas city you know you're going to get a ton of ownership percentage from boston so let me bring my face back in let's get the heck out of here and let's start our thursday shall we Hey, and here we are. We are back again. I am Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie. Thanks for playing along at home. I know I skipped out on a few things, like the specific players, you know, their, their on-base percentage, their runs uh, scored, things along those lines. I wanted to get in and out, and here we are at almost 11 minutes. So I'll keep this simple. If you want in on what we're doing here at the website, just go there right now. You can find the Subscribe Now link at Team Riser Fall on Twitter or even on my page at Detroit Beastie. And after you click it, type in beasties boomers beasties bombs whatever you want to do beastie is the label beastie is the code and you'll get everything you need just in time for football season so until i see you tomorrow on friday tgif we know that saying be good be safe and i'll talk to you tomorrow Bye bye